both my trailers are loaded, all I've got to do is hook up to my lead, uh, take it off the dock, and then hook it up to uh, the dog trailer, which is already loaded and parked up in the yard. And then we can, uh, I've got to move a few more trailers around, put an empty one up to be loaded and, and stuff like that, and also put up the one that I brought back from Cairns with all the empty crates on, so they can unload the empty crates. So a bit of stuffing around to do. So hopefully within about half an hour we'll be out of here. But yeah, it's back up onto this lead. Close the doors, roll the box forward, and then we'll hook her up. We'll have the unit all together. There's my B-double set. Truck's hooked up. Let's get the flock out of here. Grab some uh, sustenance for the trip, some dare, iced coffee, and we're out of here. Cans bound. So yeah, seeing as though we're taking a um, B-double to Cairns, instead of going down the Grander Range or the Gillies Range, you have to go via um, Innisfail down the Palmerston Range. Now, um, surprising how many drivers I talk to say that they don't like the Palmerston. Well, I think it's an absolutely fantastic range to sell, uh, considering what it used to be. I remember as a kid that it used to be one of the tightest, uh, you know, the most narrowest, windiest, dangerous ranges around, and now it's absolutely beautiful. Um, it's a lot steeper than it used to be in places, and uh, you know, that's what a lot of people don't like about it, the fact that it is so steep. And uh, there has been quite a few accidents over the years, people being killed in trucks, not being able to stop. Thankfully for me, I get to go down the range fully loaded, so even though it is a slow trip, I'm not using that much fuel at all. Because um, you're on the engine brake pretty much 95% of the way. Now, um, coming up's a different story, certainly is. I'm lucky that I come back empty, uh, or with only a couple of tonne on anyhow, and you can really fly up the range. So, we'll get to the top of the hill here, be back to um, first gear in high range and uh, doing around about 35 to 40 kilometres an hour most of the way down the range. This truck of mine has got an awesome engine brake. Um, barely have to touch the brake pedal at all the whole way down. She'll hold in that gear. And, uh, you know, as I said, when I say steep, it's not super steep, but 12% um, in some places and 10% most of the other way. So, yeah, here we are at the top of the hill. I'll just start changing down a few gears and then we'll, uh, yeah, we'll start heading down the Palmerston. You can see here in front of us I've got uh, two other trucks, both single trailers, and they're actually going uh, about the same speed as me or a bit slower. Um, as I said, the, the, the good engine brake on this truck just makes all the difference. Um, like, I'm not at maximum weight with this B-double set and the amount of milk I've got on, I'm probably grossing around about 55, 56 tonne. So, not real heavy, but uh, yeah, you know, it's just bloody good having a decent engine brake. As like I said, you can, uh, you yeah, know, you keep it around that 17 to 1800 revs mark and it'll hang around about 40 kilometres an hour and it'll sort of keep you at that speed all the way down. You only have to touch the brakes in a couple of places. So, here we are starting to go down the, um, one of the steepest parts right at the beginning of the range here. They have made some safety improvements over the years and one of those is uh, putting in a safety ramp on this side of the range. There's uh, been a safety ramp on the other side for many, many years. 
but this one here has only been here, I think, for about three years, something like that, so it hasn't been here that long. Um, I don't think anyone's had to use it yet, but it's uh, nice to know, reassuring you that it is there if you ever do need it for some reason. You know, it's not as though there's not enough warning signs. I mean, they've got reduced speed signs and use low gear signs everywhere, so if you do come down here too fast, you've only got yourself to blame as far as I'm concerned, because there's that much bloody warning signs around, it's not even funny. So there's the sign for the safety ramp, and there it is off to the side. Modern day milkman that delivers in bulk. 